There's a confusing topic in engineering and physics known as the moment of inertia. Now to explain what the moment of inertia is, I first want to talk about linear inertia. Linear inertia describes how difficult it is to change the motion of an object. Let's say we have a one kilogram box and a 1000 kilogram rock. Which one of these objects has a larger inertia? Well, the answer is pretty intuitive. The rock has a higher inertia than the box because the rock has more mass. Therefore, it is going to be harder to change the motion of the rock. In fact, if you use Newton's laws when dealing with linear motion, the inertia and mass are actually interchangeable. Now, when thinking about the moment of inertia, rather than dealing with objects moving in a straight line, we're dealing with objects that are rotating. And the resistance of movement for a rotating object does not only depend on the mass of the object, but it also depends on the geometric shape as well as the size of the object. So for common geometries like thin hoops, disks, and spheres, the moment of inertia is equal to the geometric constant times mass times the radius of the object squared. 